I'm gonna stain this wood door real quick and give it a quick touch up and I thought I would uh, bring you along my adventure. It's my first time staining a door up like this. I've done them down and I wasn't intending on staining this door today but I just threw a little of this uh, Minwax wood finish penetrating stain red oak variety. You can see here's my my rag in the can so it comes out pretty dark but then it goes over. Uh, we can see the contrast here is about what the wood looked like and here's what it looks like with that on it give or take that's a different wood so here I have my back door I don't know if you can really see that it's just a plain wood um, it went up years ago probably with like a real light finish on it sorry I'm having trouble getting any kind of good lighting um, I thought I would walk you through some of the steps with some pauses see if I can manage this camera if not uh, well, then you probably won't be seeing this but anyway um, for starters, it's a good idea to tape off the glass. I've seen people do without the tape, and you can, but it's uh, quicker and easier and usually worth the roll of tape if you've got one. Uh, earth, aside, earth health aside, potential tape uh, waste, you know, potential. Anyway, I like to use a rag also instead of, I uh, also use gloves, which means just to pick up this rag. It's a nice terry cloth kind of kitchen rag. It soaks in the oil roll easily and um, I prefer that to a brush although a brush is an option um, again it's mid wax min wax rather wood finish I'll show you the can although it's pretty messy because uh, it's sloshed out all over it's very sloshy stuff pretty messy not that hard to clean up for most surfaces surfaces if you catch it quick although it also dries fairly quickly too um, I'm gonna finish taping this off and I was just gonna show you a little of that so you can see want to follow the edge and be pretty like you don't have to spend too much time being super precise because you're going to do a little cleanup at the end probably anyway but the more precise you are the less cleaning up you'll have to do later and the better it'll look so you do want to get those edges you want to make sure you don't have overlap like that um, because that will show up i'm doing a crummy job of it now that i'm trying to show off for the camera so um you want to make sure you don't, again, the tape isn't on the edge of your wood because then that will keep you from painting or staining. This is how you tape for paint as well. Um, stain is like a real, like a real thin paint, I would say. So once you get all your glass taped up, I'm actually going to do both sides. I'm not going to make you watch all that. But then I'm also going to remove the doorknob and a uh, lock up here because um, you can and maybe I will actually tape it off and go around it but I've found in my experience it's usually easier to just undo it and go around it and then you get a much nicer look in the end instead of that uh, you know taped around gookiness so I'm going to pause you I'm going to tape up this whole thing tape up the other side and um, maybe show you a little of the wiping action or maybe just come back and show you the finished the finished uh, voila so uh again i'm angel in case i lose you you can check out other ways to contact me and support me in the description and i'm wishing you love and lightheartedness and uh oh yeah i wanted to give a shout out to professionals i am not a professional if you want a professional job then you should hire a professional i'm out here diying it trying stuff out doing it myself and one thing i've learned above all else is that it's it's you know harder to figure things out on your own sometimes even with the YouTube and there's a reason that professionals get paid what they do in many cases they're way better at it than you or I is going to be the first few times we try something there's a lot you know there's a lot of exceptions to that of course but professional painter for example probably knows a lot of tips and tricks even though I have done a fair amount of painting so I know some of them um, anyway it's my shout out to professionals I'm gonna put you on pause and hopefully show you uh, something along the way and then the end product all right so I got it all taped off it didn't take too much longer I got the outside uh, just quick wiped down and I'm gonna tape off this side too so that I can real quick do both sides I just thought I'd show you the state of this side before I uh, get to improving it I'm trying to get a picture here as well as the video all right 
See you soon. Hey, while I'm thinking of it, I wanted to mention this is a clean release called Painter's Tape. Comes in sometimes in green, sometimes in blue. It's easy to tear. It's easy to pull back up from the glass if you set it wrong. It's easy to pull up after you're done painting. So, uh, again, it's, you know, I don't know how it falls in the impact on the earth. I haven't researched that part. Seems lighter than some tapes. It does feel a little wasteful to do all this taping just to rip it off, but I have found um, that in the long run, it seems to save a lot of time. And if you think of time as money, then that might be a valid reason to pre-tape.